So I thought I'd make a little video showing quite how straightforward it is to set up the unicellular EV scope. Uh, so first of all, you just have to carry it outside. It's only about nine kilograms, so pretty portable. Set it up on its tripod somewhere with a suitable view of the night sky, in this case in my back garden. Then uh, just spend a couple of minutes making sure that the tripod's more or less level. There's a little sort of spirit level bubble that helps you sort all that out. Then fire up the app, and assuming you've remembered to switch it on, and take the lens cap off, you'll find that the Unistellar picks up some stars quite quickly. And then you can tell it to basically figure out where it's pointed in the sky. Uh, just work out its coordinate system, which it does by recognising the patterns of the stars. And it might take a few minutes to do this, in that sometimes it slews around a couple, but quite quickly it'll latch on to a pattern of stars. So then you can go into the app again, find an object to go to, in this case a nice bright star, Cor Corolli which we'll use for focusing purposes, and it then slews from where it was on the sky to more or less where it thinks the object's going to be. Typically it takes a couple of goes to do this, so it'll slew to somewhere near it, it'll then figure out the star pattern and use that to kind of offset to where it knows the object now is. And you can see it's slowly homing in on the star core Corolli. Takes a couple of goes, but it'll get there reasonably soon. And there it is, homed in on the star. So the next thing we're going to do is use this star to focus. Um, to do that, we're going to use this thing called a batting off mask, which we put over the front of the telescope. It basically obscures part of the pupil and means that stars appear as these rather strange little star-shaped things uh, with an, a, an X with a vertical line through it. And basically you just keep fiddling with the focus, twiddling it until the vertical line lines up in the middle of the X. And when you've done that, you know the star's in focus. The little jitters here, are because every time I twist the focus knob, it kind of jugs the telescope a little bit, vibrates it a bit, but then it settles down pretty quickly and we can home in on getting a good focus. And there's the star very much in focus. Now we can pick our first astronomical object for the night. So again, we go back into the database that the app has built into it. And we're going to find a nice bright galaxy to look at. In this case, we're going to go after Messier 94, one of the objects which is built in. And we just tell it to go to those coordinates. If it's not built into the database, if you know the right ascension and declination, you can type them in by hand uh, and it'll take you anywhere in the sky you want to go. And again, it just offsets from where it knows it is in the sky and takes us towards the object. Again, sometimes it takes a couple of goes to get there, um, but it's, you know, homing in over time and iterating towards where it knows the object is. And there it is in the middle of the field of view. And you can see, we've been sort of doing this in real time. So you can see from the time at the top of the app here, it's only taken about 10 minutes to do this whole process. And once we're there, we can put it into its enhanced vision mode, which essentially means it just starts taking a whole series of short exposures and stacking them up together in a reasonably intelligent way in that it knows if the images offset a little bit, it'll realign them with each other. Over time, because this is an Altaz mounted telescope, the field will rotate. So it actually takes out the field rotation. So we can keep adding up the images uh, for as long as we want. Typically when I'm doing this, I'll expose for maybe half an hour on a deep scale object like this. Um, and you can just leave the telescope to it, go make a cup of tea, sit outside, play with your camera, as was what I was doing here, taking some pictures of the night sky. Um, and as I say, typically, in, you, know, you can start seeing a pretty good image in five or ten minutes, but typically I go for half an hour to three quarters of an hour to produce an object, uh, an image like this one of Messier 94. And that's really all there is to setting up the Unistellar EV scope.